Imagine a world of thriving democracy and diminishing inequality. A world where political and economic progress aligns with humanity's values and bioengineering has made a healthy, flourishing life possible for all across the globe. In this future, people have the power to shape both their immediate environment and the broader world around them. And they find purpose in civic responsibility, community engagement, and shared stewardship of our common future. This is the vision of the winning entry of the Existential Hope World Building course of 2024. My team, Kenza and Tuan and I, crafted this scenario to embody hope, progress, and the positive potential of emerging technologies. It's a vision for what the world could look like in 2045. Today, I'll share the key elements of our world, focusing on Orare, a groundbreaking AI-powered prediction market and voting system. Orare is the cornerstone of our vision for a more equitable, transparent, and forward-thinking global society. Through it, we've integrated artificial intelligence, decentralized governance, and collective intelligence to create a hopeful future for humanity. Orare is a revolutionary platform and decentralized autonomous organization, or DAO, that combines an AI-powered prediction market with a direct democracy voting system, implementing a version of Futarchy. It was developed in 2025 over a year-long intricate experiment leveraging millions of large language models. The system excels at forecasting future outcomes and anticipating the results of collective decisions and policies, its predictive capabilities sur surpassing human experts and traditional markets. But it goes beyond mere prediction. It actively involves citizens in decision-making process. It's based on the following principles. Number one, equal access and security. Anyone can access Orare with blockchain and bio-identification ensuring security. Every living person is eligible to one token. Anyone can ask questions about future outcomes. Number two, prediction market. Users make predictions about the outcomes of various policies or decisions. The AI system aggregates these predictions with its own forecasts. Number three, voting system. Orari functions as a voting platform where citizens express preferences on issues and proposed policies. Number four, profits. The DAO can leverage its insights to invest money on the financial market. Profits are redistributed among members and predictors. The system of rewards effectively functions as a form of universal basic income, or UBI. The power of Orare lies in its ability to combine collective intelligence in prediction with direct democratic decision making. By participating, people not only predict outcomes, but also directly influence policy decisions. Financial rewards encourage participation, while the results guide policy making. This approach leads to remarkably effective and well-aligned decisions. Orare gained rapid global adoption, but the sudden influx of users caused a sharp decrease in per-user rewards. This slowed adoption in developed countries, but developing nations continued to embrace Orare. Kenya pioneered its adoption, with other nations like Ivory Coast and Ethiopia following suit. Kenya's Governance Systems Act of 2028 mandated Orare's use for significant public decisions, dramatically enhancing governance, transparency, and efficiency. As engagement grew, collective expertise improved, enabling unprecedented subsidiarity, facilitating differential technological development, and reducing political polarization. Economic progress has been remarkable, with Orare becoming a powerful tool for societal transformation, enabling nations to create more equitable, efficient, and democratic societies. Beyond its effects on governance and economics, Orare has also driven remarkable transformations in various sectors. One of the most significant has been in the realm of health and bioengineering. Through Orare's evaluations, it became clear that global investment in health and longevity was far below its true societal value. This prompted a surge in funding and focus on the most promising scientific and R&D endeavors, particularly in biomanufacturing. Local biotech hubs have emerged, producing tailored therapies and vaccines, making many countries self-sufficient in health technology. Nations that used to suffer the most from mosquito-borne illnesses are now leaders in the development of gene drives, a technology that has led to the eradication of mosquito-borne diseases, such as malaria, West Nile virus, and Zika. Orare has been crucial in aiding decision-making in complex topics like gene editing. Thanks to advances in mRNA and improved supply chains, vaccine supply in developing countries is now less dependent on foreign aid, and the improved vaccination rates have resulted in the elimination of vaccine-preventable diseases such as polio, guinea worm uh, disease, and measles. Meanwhile, the developed world has focused on precision medicine and innovative manufacturing methods, resulting in more affordable therapies and the eradication of diseases like cholera and tuberculosis. Improved biological data security protocols are invented, leading to the rapid adoption of global early warning systems for pathogens, improving biosecurity. 
Newborn whole genome sequencing has become standard, paving the way for personalized medicine. Many previously incurable, incurable conditions are now treatable thanks to advances in cell and gene therapies. The combination of improved decision making, increased investment and rapid sharing of knowledge, all facilitated by Arare, has ushered in a new era of global health equity. Preventable diseases are increasingly a thing of the past, and the benefits of bioengineering are equitably distributed across the globe. In this world, AI plays a pivotal yet measured role. Aurora's capabilities are powered by advanced AI, but artificial general intelligence remains elusive. The path to truly generalized intelligence has proved more complex than scaling up existing models, requiring breakthroughs in cognition and learning that haven't materialized. Instead, AI has become an indispensable tool enhancing human decision-making across various domains, complementing rather than replacing human intelligence. Daily life in 2045 is markedly different. Cities are more livable with improved housing and public spaces. The workplace has evolved with many making a living through Aurora participation or enjoying, or enjoying reduced hours due to the platform's basic income. Education is personalized and the elderly are more integrated into communities, sharing wisdom across generations. Most striking is the sense of agency people feel in shaping their future. From local policy decisions to global health initiatives, individuals are more engaged and empowered than ever before. Imagine waking up in a city where the air is clean, your voice matters in every decision affecting your life, and you're part of a global community working towards shared prosperity. This is the future we've envisioned, one of hope, progress, and collective flourishing. Thank you. When are we gonna move? <laughs> Is anyone building this? This DAO. I want it now. <laughs> um, yeah, I wish. I don't know of any, any projects that are like, like this in particular, but um, we are, my team is actually thinking about how, like what are the steps that are required for, for example, the, uh, the, the experiment to develop the, the AI. Like we're thinking about like what kind of data we need and what would that actually look like. In, in, now that the project is over, in hindsight, what would you change? What pessimistic assumptions would you add, maybe, to, to move to a more realistic view of the technology if you're taking it from the hopeful to the current? Uh, so since we finished this project, I have been coming across like more, I guess, pessimistic views on, on DAOs in general. And uh, if I were to do this again, I think I would like read even more about like decentralized decision making and DAOs and like what people are thinking about that right now. And I think. It could, could be maybe even better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.